This is NRG and Reaper Decks. We take the entry list of the top three NASCAR series, run them through the N ratings algorithm, set them up by their provisional lineup, and see what the computer says will be the finishing order on race day. All three series running here at Darlington. The truck race will be taken by Ryan Priest, followed up by John Hunter Nemechek, Ben Rhodes, Ty Majeski, and Carson Hosbar. Austin Wayne Self coming back and grabbing a top 10 after that bizarre incident at Bristol. Pretty standard leaderboard, only issues on the night. Matt Crafton dropping out with an engine issue, Haley Deegan with a suspension issue. They would finish at the back of the pack. And in the Xfinity race, everyone would cross the line, but Noah Gragson would get there first, followed by AJ Allmendinger, John Hernemacek, Ty Gibbs, and Josh Berry. Tyler Reddick putting up a great run for Big Machine Racing. Austin Hill finishing up there inside the top 10, along with Ryan Sieg and Landon Castle. Kyle Sieg with a nice 12th place finish. Jeb Burden made an unexpected pit stop. He'll finish back in the 27th position. Now we head to the cup race. It is throwback weekend here at Darlington. Joey Logano and Kyle Larson leading the way to the green, and it is out here in South Carolina. Joey Logano with a great start right off the bat. Kyle Larson did not get going. He is trying to fight his way back. It looks like he'll get to the outside of Christopher Bell, but Logano will lead the first lap. We're going to have some trouble here as Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is going to get put into the wall by Kevin Harvick and get plowed by Cole Custer as he spins down the racetrack. Harvick fighting his way from the back of the field, and he gets into Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Custer drops out of the race, and we're going to have a restart early on in stage number one. It is once again Logano and Larson side by side. We talked about how good Larson was at Dover. How about here at Darlington? Seven top tens in eight races. He has never finished any lower than 14th, and he's finished runner-up in the past three events. He is going to be a favorite here. And for Denny Hamlin, this is kind of like his playground. Four victories here at Darlington, and of his 17 Xfinity wins, five of them have come here at Darlington. He is definitely a driver to look out for. However, he is currently outside of the top 10, not running too well right now. Kevin Harvick has 12 top fives at this racetrack, just a bit above Denny Hammond's 11. He is also outside the top 10, although it looks like he just jumped in there, making up good ground from the back of the field. Kyle Busch, 13 top 10s at this racetrack. He is also outside of the top 10, trying to fight his way in, currently riding a streak of five straight top 10s overall. Orntrix Jr., 693 laps led for him at this racetrack. He's a two-time winner here, 2016, and in this event last year when he swept all three stages. Logano's going to be the first one to come down to pit lane. He was in a tight battle with Ross Chastain, everyone else several seconds back, but Logano's going to pull the trigger early. Chastain will come in just shortly after. After the pit stops, a little bit of contact here. Hamlin and Sindrick get together, and... Big contact for the two car into the inside wall, takes Justin Haley with him. That is going to bring out a caution late in stage one. And almost simultaneously, Daniel Suarez going to have an engine problem. We get back to the restart at three lap dash. Most of the drivers came down the pit lane. Logano did not. Some of those drivers took tires, some did not. But Alex Bowman is able to take advantage of that restart and get around Logano. At the end of the stage, Logano will finish second there, Harvick third, Blaney fourth, Chastain fifth. We see a couple of new faces up at the front now as there's a bit of varying pit strategy. It looks like everyone came down to pit lane, but whether or not they took on new tires reflects on this restart order. While Chase Elliott is out in front, a good time to mention he took that victory at Dover. Stenhouse finished second. Unfortunately, he is out of the race, but Elliott now trying to make a charge for that victory. However, he's going to slip back a little bit, and now Chastain's going to battle him for fourth. He had a nice run at the last time we came to this racetrack, just behind the intense battle between Hamlin and Larson at the end of that race, and Chastain came home third in the 42 car. Problems here is McLeod's up in the wall, Bell's going to get collected, and so is Todd Gilliland. 38 car drove away, but the 20 and the 78 spin in front of the field, Unfortunately, those were the only three cars collected in that one. We hit the restart again. 
It is Bowman and Harvick out in front. 48 showing speed, and there's another incident here on the front stretch. Burden and Hemrick get together. Wallace is going to turn the 21 into the wall. However, we get no caution. We are staying green. And we need some green flag left to be turned here. Last event here, William Byron finished fourth. He's got two victories on the season, not having a great day right now. Looks like he's back there in the 20s, trying to fight his way up the grid. Bowman is trying to pull away from this field. It looks like that's not happening. Chase Elliott is holding tight with him. However, it will be Bowman that takes the second stage as well. And it will be Elliott behind him, followed by Truex, Harvick, and Keselowski. Chastain there in sixth. Logano gets the last stage point. Into the final stage we go. It is Bowman and Elliott side by side once again. But here comes Harvick with a charge. Low on the 48, coming down the front stretch, trying to see if he can make his move. A three-time victor at this racetrack, twice in 2020, the other in 2014. And he is on a long winless streak that he is trying to break, and right now showing that speed, clearing the 48 car. Eric Jones was showing some speed early on, but unfortunately it looks like he's faded off. He is outside the top 10 now. And he's also right on the cut line for the playoffs. He really needs a good run. And unfortunately, he doesn't have the speed that he had early on in this race. Austin Dillon is just slightly in front of him. He needs a couple more positions to get himself into the playoffs, at least as it stands. And now we see Harvick is coming down for his pit service. He had a bit of a gap built up, and now he has the ability to take that risk and try to get the early tires to extend that gap even more, trying to hope that a caution doesn't come out. We'll see Martin Trex Jr. and Ross Chastain come down as well. Bowman will be one of the later ones to pit. But no caution comes out, and it looks like Harvick takes advantage of those tires. He is now out to an extensive lead. Larson, we are a bit surprised to see him not even inside the top 10 at the moment. As we mentioned, three straight runner-up finishes at this racetrack, and he is still struggling to get anything done here. Here comes Chastain. He is trying to make a move on Bowman for second place. Looks like Harvick is well out in front. Doesn't look like he's going to have a challenge, but Chastain is going to try to fight the 48 car for second place, and he has had a good streak going so far, and we're going to have some problems here. Christopher Bell is down to the apron late in this race. Sounds like he's got an oil leak. So now he's got some more gremlins to deal with. He will come down, get that service, get back on the racetrack, but it is Harvick out in front. He's battling a little bit of lap traffic, including the 47 car. The last time Harvick went to victory lane, it was at Bristol in 2020, and he's been on a long winless streak, probably not as long as when he won the 2007 Daytona 500 and then went until 2010 to grab another victory. However, it looks like today is going to be his day Coming around the final corner, it is going to be win number four at Darlington for Harvick. He takes the checkered flag. And that'll be Harvick's first victory of the season after a winless 2021. Ross Chastain gets around Alex Bowman to grab second place. Bowman will finish third. Truex Jr. fourth, Logano fifth. Elliott, who was up there early in stage two, he finishes sixth. Kyle Larson finally finds his way back into the top ten. Looks like there might have been an issue later on for Denny Hamlin. He drops all the way back to 13th. He kind of poked his way back into that top ten and then faded back out. Eric Jones was up there. He grabbed stage points in stage one. He finishes in the 17th position. Austin Dillon will grab a little bit of a point advantage on him, but only in the 15th spot. Some disappointing days here. Bubba Wallace back in 26. Chris Rebell, 28th, had an oil leak late in the race. And then we'll see a couple of dropouts. Daniel Suarez with the engine issue. Austin Sendrick and Cole Custer wrecking out. And obviously Ricky Sennett Jr. had some wreck damage from his early incident. He finishes in 31st. That is it for NR2003 Predicts. We hope you enjoy the race, and we will see you all next time. <laughs>